All right, welcome to another video. This is still Arkanlist 1907 and the machine is, has been online for 10 hours. So that's the latest build and you'll get it soon. We created our own Arc Linux teaching GitHub where our repos are. So if you want to add stuff to your system that you've built and I've made already a tutorial how to package build everything. So you can then put them online which in return you can put inside your etcpacman.conf and then say, okay, do get my packages as well. Teach your repo, teaching a repo with a SIG level optional trusted only server is that place and I can now install stuff that I put on that repo. So that's something for, well, the question that people had um, and if you want to build your own ISO, you'll probably need it. So you have now the possibility to install and in this case, remove the package from your personal GitHub repo. This video is going to be about ArcLinuxB.com. What if I wanted to build an ArcLinuxB ISO minimal for OpenBox? We have a theme available for open box theming is these things and the borders and we'd like to add it to this particular Arc Linux B. You start as usual with this. We go to the desktop, open a terminal, control shift V. That's a start. So we need to have um, the scripts in to build something. And there are two scripts these times, these days. One that uses the Linux kernel. If you have no issues with Linux kernels, then use 30. If you do have problems, then it's gonna be LTS. We're going to use the build the ISO local version three. Gonna change it to the way we see fit, the way we see we like to use it, but we have to be careful. We need the Arch ISO to be different, right? It needs to be different. It needs to contain our packages. So we always say, use the Nemesis scripts. And the Nemesis scripts are interesting. Afterwards, after any installation, you just run scripts that install the rest. So lots of videos and articles about Nemesis. And it's actually just a GitHub place where scripts are and we run them. And what's also interesting for you to uh, read or get acquainted with is a script I use to get Arc Linux up and running under 50 minutes with Arco get started. So it's a script, it's a bit.ly link and you download actually my package to get everything in and you just reuse the code and see what you like in it. Basically we want to have a system up and running fast and this tutorial is we want to have a system up and running fast with our AUR packages because the things we put on Arch, uh, which uh, the things we put on the ISO are coming from Arch Linux, Arc Linux, and AUR. But the packages from AUR are coming from, from our Arc Linux repo ISO. That's the origin, that's where they're coming from. But this time around, we have created a repo, and the repo is this one, and we want to add packages. Which one? The only one that's there, Openbox, Teams, Pambudi, Git. That's the one we want to add. And we can add as many as you like. Just start making packages. Okay, so that's done. We have made a long list of all packages that we like to include, include on your ISO. You've built it all, it's all on your repo, it's there. You've done the motions from the other video. All right, if we think again, what do we need? We need to go inside here. Normally we'd say just run 30, that's the thing we do. But this time around, we'll need to be a bit smarter. We are going to rename our well, 
the thing you need to know me the know is that actually in essence there is just one iso well maybe two we can argue about that but in Arch Linux there is actually just one iso there's Arch Linux iso then we strip a lot of stuff and we have an Arch Linux D iso and all the Arch Linux B isos are built upon Arch Linux iso so that's why we can make such amount of work with just this small theme, right? Arch Linux ISO, there is mainly one ISO. Okay, but it means that you get in the Arch Linux XFCE or Poxi 3 thing, which means you need to rename it. We want to have an open box min, an open box, Arch Linux B desktop, everything changes. So the Arch Linux elements are becoming Arch Linux B elements. So that's good, we need that. Going to delete the working directory, fine, there is none yet, so do it. Arch Linux B, built, we haven't built anything, so there is no folder, it's not gonna remove anything. And here it is, here in line 63, we give, uh, we, we show you that actually we're just starting with the Arch Linux ISO. And we put everything in work. Why? It's just an, a face, a temporary place to put it in. And then we're going to remove the um, packages. We're going to put our own package in there, so the one including the open box themes. Then we're going to remove the old scale and get a new scale in. We're going to rename everything, rename it to uh, this old name one, you know, up here, old name one, old name two. It's all gonna be renamed. And then it's gonna be checking if Arch ISO is installed. It is installed. I've gone through the motions already. sudo pacman minus s arch iso. I've done that. Like this. I've done that. So it's just going to skip and say, oh, package is already installed. Moving along, he says. And he's going to make a directory. Arch Linux builds. He's going to copy paste everything over. Arch Linux build here. Change everything delete something to clean this thing up again and go inside the arch iso clean everything up and here i would like to suggest you stop that's the best thing i think to stop so you can ever run everything up to until this building thing or you delete it but with exit one i gonna stop this script halfway this we're gonna do manually and this is just uh, the out things um, so copy well moving stuff from a to b or moving stuff of deleting stuff so moving and deleting so this we can do later manually but i want to stop before the building this is something a code will need later on this is our version to build the ISO okay so that means we need to we can do already something we can actually move you to the top let's get rid of that and then right mouse click here open terminal there move you to that side and then run number 30 and numeric lock on and let's see what we get already so this is actually my first time ever so Let's see, is that already done? That's already done. All right, fine. So what happened? We are Arch Linux B. We saw work folder, which is gone again. So it's, uh, it's that fast that it's in here already. And we have the Arch ISO and it's waiting to build. So the command build is, is, is waiting for that. Yeah, looks good. And here it took the bash RC, the newest bash RC is in. No, it looks good. The package 8664, does it contain our elements that we want to add on the ISO? Open box team, spam body, it's there, fine. So what's holding us up? Nothing, we can actually start building this thing, but 
don't forget the pacman.conf is our pacman.conf and we had an example is this still open somewhere this is it this is actually what should be the pacman.conf from you you have an extra repo this one can go that one can go so let's let's open it up again so you see we are an article next b built arch iso we have the pacman.conf that's one scroll down add yours that's it password we are sudo here so we need to be we need to tell them okay change this the same for the other one like so there are two guys one to build and one to put on the iso for us it's different for you in this case it's not different uh, in the case of building we want the arco linux arco linux repo iso that's the github and in this case you can have the repos afterwards right so that's okay two places to add and these guys will be used for the build I'm thinking if I forgot anything I don't think so so the script set to build it with sudo and then I was still in my copy paste no it's gone the copy paste so basically this is out I want to be sh make sure that I'm in this here because I want to run the application that's in there the script sudo build uh, with a point otherwise it won't succeed and tell me about it if you if you do this you won't see anything and it's not nice well it's not nice it's it's nice but we want to see what's going on and verb voice is the common term the v is a common way to express to be verb voice to be communicative with us so we see stuff the thing where i'm gonna pause is when i see the package coming up it needs to be uh, in here what we can do in the meantime maybe you didn't notice but there's a new folder here a work folder we can have a look at it see what the pacman.conf contains oof it contains our Arch Linux repo teaching right but all the rest of Arch Linux as well okay good 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 so this one is being used to actually make this one inside in here we have a complete Arch Linux system this is the thing that's gonna go on your ISO etc go inside pacman.conf again take a look now all these things are moving about because of the fact that well it's installing stuff in here so don't be alarmed about that and if you scroll down this is still an empty one so we'll see later on why that is and if that's a problem or not but this is still at this point in time maybe later it isn't depends where we are in the scripts so um, I would like to stop it only when I see the new package this is still Arch Linux stuff this is the base Arch Linux installation all the core the extra and still core stuff that's installed and still stuff basic stuff and here we get all the stuff from us in here somewhere should be our open box thingy here yes open box themes pambudi git release 24 so it's already in here the question is will we get an error or not does he know where it is does he find it because we have a new repo added to, to the system and this is what i've been doing like for 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 years i mean i wouldn't even try to guess how many iso builds i've made because there's only one way to build an iso change one thing build it works fine change another thing build okay great that's the best way to go because otherwise if you change 10 things and it doesn't work you can start afresh figuring out what is it let's pause the video and see what comes out just one thing i want to check um 
remember the name changing and all that did they actually change the name okay we're good all b open box minimal 1907 11 so yes fine we're good pausing all right it just came back in time to see the result 1.5 gigabytes out in the Arlux B open box minimal ISO. Great. This means it's in this folder and it's in here. This is our ISO. So, Super F7. I've had uh, prepared something already. And it's gonna be this one, right? It is. Arlux B open box minimal 1907.11. Yep, that's the one. Let's quickly boot it up and show you the results. I will pause the video so it won't be too long. But let's go to the motions of installing. That's always nice to see again. So, Arclix B installer, fine. Choose your language, version, next, Brussels, great. Next, Belgian keyboard, next, erase, and pause. And we're going to erase, no swap, that's good for me. My name, Eric. This is Arcanlix B. Guys, build it yourself, the power you get, that's fun. And login automatically, use the same password, next, install. So, we're doing the installation. The most critical part is when he's making his partitions, but we're over that. So he's going to now to extract, to unsquash this folder that we've actually seen now in detail. In detail. In here. In here. That thing. No. Yes. No. I'm lost. Okay. Did you delete that? Work. I might be gone afterwards. Well, the video, the you can go back in the video and see because it's actually gone where it was building everything. Ah, here it is. Ah, found it. So this thing is going to be extracted again. We can actually take a look. Eh? This is your system. And he's counting, he's counting. So yeah, that's the one, that's the Arch Linux ISO. Only six, but then again, it's um, five. It's a uh, minimal one, so yeah, that makes sense. And five gig here, compressed 1.5 gig. I don't know about compression rates, but can be. So this is the thing that's now being unsquashed. And we have to check the pacman.conf. That's true. That's true. So, Control F, full screen again. Let's pause. We're almost at the end. That's why I started recording again. And we're going to restart. Done. And we go for the line that says reboot from the hard disk because the ISO is still in there. So that's what you see the screen from the ISO and this is what you get for real. Using the Linux kernel, you see it already at the first screen here. And this is our own system. We've built this. Never mind this thing being black. That's because of the fact that we're on a virtual box and we've teamed and tweaked everything to be great on a real uh, metal machine, not open box. It's easily fixed, by the way. Just go into Compton Conf, search uh, virtual box, and there's an explanation what you should do if you wish to stay on an open box system. It's a minimal one, so we gave it also the minimal menu. You see, it's a very small menu. And we can go to the GUI configuration tool and actually apply already any of our teams of our friends Adi Pambudi and uh, Numix clone is one I rather like it I think it's that one yeah 
So this is one of the installations of the package that we've created on our own repo. This is installed, you can remove it, but that's not the point. We just added it to be able to have a beautiful system here. And it's gonna be this theming of the, the windows, let's say. And this is the look you have in the menu because of this new package that you have. Now, super, um, yeah, super shift return file system. I wonder if this is okay, .com. Must be okay since you saw Pac-Man, but let's check it. Teaching repo is in here, article links repo is in here. So whatever, whenever is more important when we were looking at the pacman.conf, at some point there was still the old uh, Pac-Man conf. And yes, 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 it's replaced. We have the article Linux teaching GitHub that's being used for our extra packages. And actually we could keep everything up and running and um, do an update. And that would be interesting, I think, to maybe include it even in the video here. So let's see what happens if I make an update to my system, which I can do. Let me think, file manager, it's here somewhere. So open box teams Pambudi kit, um, yeah, better not. The thing is, if I make an update on this thing, I'm going to push it to the AUR and that's a needless push, right? There is no need for it and we'll get maybe bad remarks from it and it's not a point I just want to teach trust me when i say that if i make a new uh, update on the eur that the package will come in like any old update but not an update update with your pksyua with that one any aor related stuff will come in um, what i can do however i'm gonna think about something i can do so there's one thing, eh? updating the AOR package, that's something I need to do for Adi, for all the Arch Linux community people. But what we can do locally on our machine, that I can do, right? So, let me think, where did we put that actually? I think it's this one. Let us rename it um, number three, just for in form of, of exercise, right? And we do a build again. So this is our build. Has nothing to do with AOR. As a package that we will like, we love, we have made a package build for it. And this is our thing. This, this is what we want to have on our repo. So fine, you've built it. That can go, can go, can go. This one needs to go in your repo. I have it somewhere. This is my teaching repo. We put it in here, control V. Now this is a new one, that's an old one. I try to keep it clean. So this, the guy needs to go. I do not always do it, but I try to keep, keep it clean anyway. And then we run our git thing. He's going to add the package number three, and the other one is going to be deleted. Exercise, right? Doesn't matter. What happens? It's going to be online. This is going to change. You'll see exercise here, and this is the file that's now on here. 24 still, but number three. So what's going to happen? in our personal repo, I've changed something. And what's gonna happen on this system then? If you do an update, it's gonna get everything in, and it sees, oh look, there is a new update in for Openbox Teams Pambudi Git version three. And it's going to get that, of course there's no difference, but system doesn't know it. You've renamed it with another number, a higher number, that's all it needs to know, and it's going to update it. And that's it. So you have your own repo. You can build your own ISO with your repo. You need to put packages on there. 
You need to make new packages if they, they improve, if they get a new release. You need to do it manually. And I think you're good to go. So there you go. This is something I've postponed for a while. This is how you put a personal repo in your Arco Linux B ISO. All right, have fun.